What's up everybody? Welcome back to the All In Woodsman. This evening we are out here on a beautiful summer evening um, at one of our favorite farm ponds once again, hoping to get on some fish. If y'all stick around, we're gonna see if we can't get on a couple bites. Stick around everybody. So I have a special person with me today. Y'all have heard her voice behind the camera many a times, but this is my beautiful wife, Anna. So she's gonna be out here fishing on the lake with us today. Um, we're just gonna see what we can get into. Um, it's the evening time, the sun's on its way down, but we are out here on one of the farm lakes that we fished pretty frequently. Um, it's definitely warmer weather than the last time we were here. Um, so hopefully the fish will be biting a little bit better and maybe some bigger fish, but we'll see what we can get on um, The weather is definitely beautiful. No better way to spend an evening than out on the water seeing what we can get a hold of so We'll see who can catch the most fish. I don't know Who's gonna catch them? She normally beats me when we do this type of thing, but we'll see what our total number of fish come to um, But let's see what kind of fish we can get on guys All right, so right now what we're throwing is we're both throwing these little rooster tails with a little spinner, um, just like I threw them in my last fishing video. Um, I've had really good luck getting the fish to bite these, so we'll see if they're still biting these. We've also got some uh, live bait, some worms, um, and a couple other artificials that we might try here in the near future. But right now we're just gonna see if they'll hit these little rooster tails. Um, I've had some good luck with them in the past, so we'll see if they'll hit them. We must. So we just had a bite. Um, didn't have the camera running, of course. Every time we turn the camera off, uh, we get a bite. But he must have been following it in for a little while because he literally took it right here at the bank and then spit the hook about the time I tried to lift him up. So we're definitely getting some bites. So we'll see. Oh, there we go. We got one over here. Look at there. What you got? I don't know. Got your little it's large mouth. A, it's not a brim. Large mouth bass. It's not a crappie. It's not a catfish. It's a large mouth bass. That's about all I know for uh, non ocean fishes. Non ocean fishes. So, on that note, guys, we are getting ready to head down to the Gulf in a couple of weeks. And we are extremely excited to get you guys some saltwater fishing content, hopefully coming soon. But nice little large mouth bass. Um, not too bad. You want to hold him? No, I'm good. 
All right, she's good. So we're gonna get this guy released. First fish of the evening. Um, we're so off far, I'm winning. So far, she's winning. We're off to a good start. So last time we were out here fishing, there was definitely a chill in the air. Um, I think I even had a jacket on in the last fishing video. Um, so temperatures have definitely made a switch. Um, been sticking around in the mid to upper 70s, low 80s the last couple days. Um, so hopefully spring is here to stay, but hopefully the water temperatures are coming up and the fish are deciding they're gonna bite a little more consistently than the last time we were out here. Although last time we were out here, we didn't do a bad job. We ended up with quite a few fish. So far I've had that one bite and I don't know where they went. I literally got that one bite and told you guys I lost them and my wife pulled one in right after me. So she's up to one nothing right now. So I think we got something, y'all. Yeah, we got one. Oh, got a large mouth. Ooh. Nice little guy. That one did not spit the hook right at the bank, so. All right, y'all, so this is my first fish of the evening. Nice. Sure. Nice little bass. Uh, definitely a little bit bigger than Anna's, but <laughs> size doesn't matter. She says size doesn't matter. So, <laughs> first fish of the evening for me. <laughs> we'll get it back. Um, but we're tied one-one. All right, y'all, so we didn't have the camera rolling, but Anna is on her second fish of the evening. We're gonna get it unbuttoned. Hey, what's the winner get? I don't know, we haven't decided the prize yet. Winner has to cook dinner. Winner has to cook dinner. All right, so y'all heard it. Winner has to cook dinner. Or sorry, loser has to cook dinner. Lose, yes. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, no we had it backwards. Today. I haven't had caffeine today. So loser cooks dinner. Those are the steaks. But nice, small, another small, large mouth. Sorry, I'm focused on trying not to get a hook in my finger right now. Yeah, he's hooked real good. Okay. Here we go. Fish number two. Another nice, small little bass. Anna's up two to one. We're gonna get this guy back in the water. What? Yeah. Worm. All right, so what we're doing is we've, we're up Caught three fish total, all largemouth bass, um, all on those rooster tail um, spinners. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw out um, another pole that just has some live bait on it. All we did, all we did was we have it set up with just a little live bait hook with a worm on it, down to a bobber with just a small weight so we can get it out there. 
um, just to see what else is biting and if anything wants the live um, bait presentation instead of the spinner. So we'll see if anything bites it. So we've caught three bass at this point. Um, Anna's caught two, I've caught one. The other species that we're working on trying to find are either bluegill and brim or some crappy. Um, those are the other fish that are in this lake that we're looking for. Um, so hopefully we can find um, those two. Um, that way we can get on all of our three target species, bass, brim, and crappy. Um, those are our three target species today. Um, so we'll see. Normally, this side of the lake is where we kind of run into a few more of the different types of fish. All right, y'all, we were packing up, getting ready to move to another location, and uh, we went to reel the worm in, and we have one on on the line, and we got us another largemouth bass. Nice, babe. All right. So he wanted the worm. Definitely. So. So that's what. That's our fourth fish of the day. Two for you, two for me. Two, two to two. We're tied. Another nice largemouth. So far, that's all we can get on this evening. But I'm not gonna complain because there are days you get out here and you don't catch anything. So, fourth bass of the day or the evening. Uh, we're gonna get him back and we're gonna make the move that we were planning on doing on around onto the dam for a little deeper water. Um, but a nice surprise. He actually took the live bait. So. We'll get him back and we're gonna move around. Nice size little fish. Yeah. Yeah. And off he goes. So Anna made a switch on her lure. So she's no longer fishing with the rooster tail. Uh, she's fishing with a crappy jig. So it's got a little um, soft plastic on the back of it, but then it's got just a weighted jig head with a little, still got a little spinner on it, but it's not as big as the rooster tail. So we'll see, things have kind of slowed down biting the rooster tail. So we'll see if she gets anything on the new bait. The sun is right on the horizon. It's definitely getting low. I don't know if y'all can hear it in the video, but the crickets and the frogs have decided to turn on. All right, guys, so the camera wasn't facing either one of us, but Anna has got a beautiful crappie. Look at that! Look at this joker right here, you guys. Crappie are one of the most beautiful fish Whoop. out here. Whoop. I didn't know you let go. I had no. eyes closed. He kicked, it out. he kicked out of my hand. Half blind over here. Yep, the sun is definitely in our eyes. Calm down, big man. There we go. go. Look at that. Three to two. Three to two. And she's caught two. two of our species. She's had a largemouth bass and a crappie. So now I just need a brim. Now she just needs a brim. And it'll be a farm pond slam. It'll be a farm pond slam. All right, everybody. So as always, we turn the camera off. Fish is slowed down biting and we had another one bite. We got another crappie. 
I can get him unbuttoned, I'll show him to you. There we go. Nice, beautiful fish. You gotta I love the pattern on these fish. They are absolutely gorgeous. With that blue up top and all the speckled pattern on them. Definitely a beautiful fish. They're also really good to eat. So we have kept both of the crappie that we've caught and we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. And we're gonna take it back to the kitchen and we're gonna show you guys how to clean and cook these crappie up and make them delicious. So stick around guys. Look at that bass. Nice! All right, guys. Sweet. An another largemouth bass. We caught that one on this little crappy jig. So it's got a little weighted head with a little soft plastic on the back. So, and it's also got this little spinner on it as well. So, there you go. That's our third bass of the mor evening. Not morning. Evening. Yeah, third Fourth bass fish. leading. Fourth fish. She's leading. Four to three. Four to three. Four to three. Ooh, ooh, fish. Fish on. We got a fish, y'all. Fish on. Woo! We got us one. Oh, oh, it counts, it counts. It's a crappy. It's a crappy. No, no, no. Yes, it is. It's tiny. I have... It's laying there right on the, the edge. Yeah. Away, oh guys. no! It counts. It counts. We touched it. It counts. It wasn't big enough to keep, anyways. No, it was. So that puts her at five to three, y'all. So three. I'm starting to think this is not going to be a good ending for me. Just leaving that there. You know what that means? That means we have completed our first farm pond slam on the channel. If you don't know what a farm pond slam is, that's when we try to catch our three target species of bluegill, largemouth bass, and brim or bluegill. So with that being said, I may be losing right now, but I completed a farm pond slam. So <laughs> I'm a pretty happy camper at this point. You're still cooking dinner. <laughs> I'm still cooking dinner, but I've completed a, the, my first ever farm pond slam. Where we got the idea was in salt, if you fish salt water, there's a such thing as a slam where you catch three specific fish. So we've nicknamed this the farm pond slam because guess what? These are the three target species we catch on a regular basis in these farm ponds. So I don't know if you guys can see it, it's kind of dark. I'm gonna turn the camera around a little bit, but one of the most beautiful fish out here. Not sure you can see it really well, but um, not a bad size, but definitely not big enough to keep, so we're gonna get him back. 